A technical program manager is one of those positions that aren't really talked about. Going through undergrad as a computer science student, becoming a software engineer was usually the go-to after graduating. Now I had heard of like project managers and program managers throughout college a little bit, but I didn't really know what they did and it wasn't really until I joined Microsoft that I actually understood or at least started to understand what a technical program manager was and how they actually differed from regular program managers or non-technical program managers and just software engineers in general. So I've mentioned this before, but my original position at Microsoft was actually to just be a software engineer. That is what at least my initial offer letter said, but about three months before starting at Microsoft, my now previous manager, my old manager, reached out to me and offered me a position as sort of a dev PM hybrid that sort of evolved into what I currently do at Microsoft as a technical program manager. Now the responsibilities of a technical program manager can vary a lot just based on the company, so these are really just my experiences so far. So my first experience as a technical program manager, or sometimes you know I'm gonna abbreviate it as TPM, it was very coding heavy on my first team, where I was coding pretty much every day in C Sharp. And in that sense, it's very similar to what a software engineer does, you know? You code generally every day. That's sort of where the software engineering role kind of ends, with the exception of, you know, doing a few demos here and there, and maybe, you know, conducting some interviews or something. So in addition to all of the coding stuff I would do every day, I would also do a lot of generally considered like PM type of responsibilities. So a lot of like planning, so like creating user stories or doing architecture planning, you know, hosting and attending meetings, giving presentations, you know, actually creating and editing and voicing over product and software demos, as well as just generally collaborating with a lot of other teams. So all of these responsibilities were much closer to that of a non-technical program manager or project manager or product manager, whatever the context, manager, but not a people manager, like a, a, a concept manager, I guess you could call it, sort of. So when I switched teams, I joined about two or three other technical program managers to sort of form a TPM core team. So on this TPM core team, my responsibilities varied from what I was doing in my quote unquote TPM role on my previous team. And this sort of goes back to saying how you know, the TPM role, the technical program manager role, and even just generally the program manager role, the responsibilities can vary a lot based on the company and the team. So on this new team, I had a lot more program manager oriented work and less coding in general. So a lot of just semester and milestone planning, a lot of presentations, a lot of monthly status reportings, a lot of team collaboration, and generally more of that PM style of work. Now I do still code but to a lesser degree and in a different language so on my previous team as I said I was coding mostly every day in C sharp whereas now I code in Python which I think is a little bit better honestly I don't know C sharp is a pretty good programming language I like it but Python is also pretty good but honestly being a TPM it's been really really rewarding and honestly just really cool because I get to see sort of the full life cycle and contribute to the full life cycle of a software product or like a piece of software. So at the planning and conception level with all of the PM work, as well as at the actual implementation level and deployment level with all of the coding work. So I really get to see the full life cycle again of a software product from, you know, the user requirements in that PM style of work all the way down to the deployment into different environments. And I get to contribute to these different points in time of the software life cycle. Now it's all within the scope of my actual responsibilities because I'm not randomly contributing code to a code base I've never dealt with before. It's all within the scope of what I'm actually responsible for. So whereas a software engineer will generally contribute at the implementation level where they're actually doing the coding and the PM program manager the product manager the project manager whatever you want to call them will contribute at the you know the higher level stage you know the planning the conception generating those user requirements whatever it may be as the TPM I get to sort of contribute to all of the stages so I get kind of the best of both worlds now it does increase your responsibility scope as I am now responsible for both the PM side of certain software 
software tasks as well as the actual engineering side of those same software tasks. But honestly, it's just been really rewarding to see, you know, the, the full life cycle and be able to contribute to it. Again, I just want to reiterate that this has been my experience as a technical program manager on my different teams at Microsoft. And I've even showed that just switching teams and I'm still within generally the same department, I still work within Azure, that the responsibilities and the day-to-day -day kind of duties of a technical program manager will vary a lot based on the company and team. And some companies don't even have technical program managers. But ultimately, I envision or I see the technical program manager role as sort of that intermediary between software engineers and PMs. So the PM will take those user requirements and create plans, but they might not have that technical insight on how the development is actually going to work, whereas the engineers actually know how to build the features they're given, but they might not be able to, you know, peer into what the user requirements are. So the technical program manager can sort of fill that intermediary role where they can help out and provide support for both the PM work with all of that planning, conception, user requirements, stuff like that, as well as provide engineering support to the more technical side, developing that software from those user requirements. Overall, it's been great because I get kind of the best of both worlds, as I said, so I really wanted to stay technical and I'm glad that I can stay technical, but I don't have to code every single day that you'd, you know, normally find in a software engineering position. Now, going down into my, you know, future career plans, I hope to stay technical. I do really like coding and I do really like technical topics, but I also like contributing at the higher level where we're getting those user requirements, we're getting those plans, we're formulating those plans, and we're constructing, constructing prototypes, creating demos, and I really like to contribute to sort of all of these different pieces across the software development lifecycle, and I've really found that the technical program manager role, at least from my experience, has been able to do that compared to just a pure program manager role, as well as compared to just a, you know, pure software engineering role. So if you are looking to become a technical program manager, I do think it is beneficial and if not vital to know how to code and to understand technical topics because you do need to be able to provide that engineering support, at least, you know, from my perspective, I think it's important that you have the availability or the option to provide that engineering support. And this will allow you to talk to those engineers and understand, you know, technical setbacks or technical complications and relate that back to the PMs that may not understand the more technical side of things. Now, if you don't really want to be too technical, the general program manager position may be better suited to you because you do more of just the general planning and getting those user requirements. I know I keep saying user requirements, but that's a big thing for PMs as well as creating presentations, doing reporting, stuff like that. Now, if you absolutely hate planning and don't want to deal with user requirements, then probably software engineering is more suited to you if you just want to build cool stuff stuff and basically just code every day. Now, if you want a little bit of both, I think the technical program manager role could be right up your alley. If you have any questions about becoming a technical program manager or what it's sort of like, feel free to comment down below. If you want some minimalist programmer merch, check out some of the clothes I've been designing at nullref.co. That's all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We do Bob British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self with Nike Deity. Check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. Dearly. My name is Michael or Mikey, whatever you want to call me. I'm a college advice, career advice, computer science, tech programmer type videos. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.